Hello, fellow TV enthusiasts. Welcome back to the Professor's channel. I'm your host, William Wall, and today we're diving into the realm of television treasures. Get ready as we unveil the top 10 hidden gems TV shows of 2023. These are the diamonds in the rough, the under the radar gems that have captivated us with their brilliance. So if you're on the lookout for your next binge worthy obsession, you're in the right place. Let's embark on this journey of discovery together because good TV deserves to be shared. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell to stay updated with our latest content. Now, let's uncover the hidden gems of 2023. Our journey begins at number 10 with nail bidding, harrowing, and brooding wolf pack. Why are we stopped? Follows a teenage boy and girl whose lives are changed forever when a California wildfire awakens a terrifying supernatural creature and drives it to attack a highway traffic jam beneath the burning hills. Wounded in the chaos, the boy and girl are inexplicably drawn to each other and to two other teenagers who were adopted 16 years earlier by a park ranger after another mysterious wildfire. As the full moon rises, all four teens come together to unravel the secret that connects them, the bite and blood of a werewolf. Gold like that, you can't control it. And if you can't handle it, then it will find its way to someone who can. Cruising into the ninth position is drama series The Gold. Hugh Bonneville stars alongside Jack Loudon and Dominic Cooper in a series inspired by the iconic true story of the Brinks Matt robbery and its aftermath. We're looking for six robbers and three tons of gold. Money like that will end up in surprising places with surprising people. Ready? On 26 November 1983, six armed men broke into the Brinks Matt Security Depot, stumbling across gold bullion worth PS2 and 6M. The disposal of the bullion caused the birth of large scale international money laundering, provided the dirty money that helped fuel the London Docklands property boom united blue and white collar criminals and left controversy and murder in its wake. What started as a typical Old Kent Road armed robbery, according to detectives at the time. I saw an old lady with like long gray hair. She called out my name and she said my dad was still alive. What? And I know it can't be true because I watched him die. At number eight, we have the amusing, mysterious thriller Harlan Coben Shelter. Hey, I'm Ashley. Nice to meet you. I'm Mickey. It tells the story of high school junior Mickey Bulatar. A course he navigates his new life with a mom in rehab, a dead father, an annoying aunt in a new school in New Jersey, with a camel as its mascot. When a creepy old lady, who may or may not be a ghost, tells Mickey that his father isn't dead, Mickey is sure he's losing his mind on top of everything. You want to tell me where the hell we're going? Manhattan. Jesus Christ. Breaking into the top 10 at number 7 is brooding, frightening, and gritty The Walking Dead, Dead City. For me, it wasn't the Statue of Liberty. It was Macy's. The series follows Maggie and Negan traveling into a post-apocalyptic Manhattan cutoff from the mainland in search of Maggie's kidnapped son, Herschel. The crumbling city is filled with the dead and denizens who have made New York City their own world full of anarchy, danger, beauty, and terror. In this frightening city, they both face a new threat, who is not so new for Negan. Taking the sixth spot is the epic, mystical, and heartfelt American-born Chinese. You know, people love this. It's good for you. Right, but this one looks like it's giving me the thumbs up. <laughs> Following the story of Jin Wan, 
an average teenager juggling his high school social life with his immigrant home life when he meets a new foreign student on the first day of the school year. Even more worlds collide, as Jin is unwittingly entangled in a battle of Chinese mythological gods. The action comedy explores issues of identity, culture, and family. Well, it's been a month. Two more months of probation left. How do you feel it's going? We reach the halfway point with the unsettling, intense and bidding of blue lights at number five. Can I ask you both to step out of the car? No. This is the first time. Blue Lights is a television drama series set in Belfast, Northern Ireland, following three probationary police officers of the Police Service of Northern Ireland. The series was broadcast on BBC One and BBC iPlayer, premiering on 27 March 2023. It has been recommissioned for a second series, which began filming in 2023. What do you say your greatest weakness is? Crippling insecurity. Selfish. And a lazy. I lack ambition. Argumentative. Jealous. I only wash my hands after someone else in the bathroom. I don't know why I just told you that. It's my thing. I see you haven't got your power down on here. That's because I don't have one yet. Now, at number four, we have the funny, quirky, and awkward extraordinary. Brave little soldier. Carrie, I haven't got a power yet. I'm not, like, terminal. Welcome to a world where everyone over 18 develops a superpower. Everyone except for 25-year-old Jen, who is still waiting for her power to appear. Without a power, Jen feels like she's being left behind. Her insecurities aren't helped by the fact that she's stuck in a dead-end job, and her occasional hookup, Luke, is a flyboy who has no intention of committing. Luckily, Jen has her best friend, Carrie, whose endless positivity stops Jen from falling into a well of self-pity. They share a flat with Carrie's long-term boyfriend, Cash, and a stray cat, who is named Jizzlord by the gang after an unfortunate incident. When I was little, I used to dream about fire. Fire is an element that requires friction, fuel, and oxygen. And one day, everything went up in flames. It's creeping into the third spot is the touching. Brooding and gritty, the lost flower of Alice Hart. Alice is my granddaughter. And she will be living with us from now on. Let's eat. I'd like to make a toast. Please. <laughs> to Alice, welcome to Thornfield where wildflowers are allowed to bloom. <laughs> when Alice, age nine, tragically loses her parents in a mysterious fire, she is taken to live with her grandmother, June, at Thornfield Flower Farm, where she learns that there are secrets within secrets about her and her family's past. Set against Australia's breathtaking, natural landscape, and with native wildflowers and plants providing a way to express the inexpressible, this enthralling family drama spans decades Alice's journey as she grows from her complicated past builds to an emotional climax when she finds herself fighting for her life against a man she loved. You hear that? It's Paris crying. Why don't you find American? We did it your way. Now we're gonna do it mine. Securing the penultimate position, is another brooding, frightening, and gritty The Walking Dead Daryl Dixon. The Walking Dead, Daryl Dixon follows Norman Reedus' fan favorite character, Daryl, as he navigates the zombie infested landscape of Europe. My father tried to teach me how to change a tire once. He gave up after two hours. Mine used to have us take apart engines. If we couldn't put them back together, we got no dinner. Sounds hard. Yeah, it was when he was around, which was hardly ever. He grew up without a father. I guess history repeats itself if you're not careful. You got this. On washing ashore in France, he is faced with the monumental task of piecing together the events that led him there. His relentless pursuit to find a way back home forms the crux of the story with a captivating narrative full of unexpected twists and turns. The first season concludes without revealing Daryl's ultimate decision, leaving audiences hungry for the imminent second season of this compelling and heart-pounding series. 
But before we unveil our top pick, let's give an honorable mention to some cinematic gems that narrowly miss the top spots. One, Jubilee two, S. Patekin is cheering. Now I'm going to get such an actor. It means intensity. It's a long day. Smile, please. Hmm. Announce it. Exo Kitty. <clears throat> I know when two people are meant for each other. It's a feeling I get. I, I felt it for Lara Jean and Peter. I felt it for you too. Hi. And I feel it for me and Day. Good morning, everyone. This is Captain Robin Allen speaking. Flight time today is six hours, 54 minutes. And now the moment we've all been waiting for, securing the throne at number one, is Idris Elba's intense, thrilling, and gripping hijack. Got family, loved ones. We got one job to do right now, just get through to them. A tense thriller that follows the journey of a hijacked plane as it makes its way to London over a seven-hour flight while authorities on the ground scramble for answers. Sam Nelson, played by Idris Elba, is an accomplished negotiator in the business world who needs to step up and use all his guile to try and save the lives of the passengers, but his high-risk strategy could be his undoing. There you have it, our definitive top 10 hidden gems TV shows of 2023. Do you agree with our list? What are your favorites? Let us know in the comments below. Until next time, keep watching, keep loving, and stay cinematic.